In this video, I'd like to show you some different ways that you can actually customize your view inside of Lightroom Classic. So right now I have the library module open and you can see that at the very top here. So let's go ahead and start out with the module list up at the top. There are a lot of different modules that you can work with and odds are you probably don't use all of them. The beauty is you can actually hide the ones that you don't use on a regular basis. I'm hovering over that top kind of module selector area and if I right click over that bar, I have a list here of all of the modules along with a little check next to them. So what I can do is click and it unchecks the option I was clicked on and then it hides that from view. So now you'll see that the web option is no longer here at the top. I'll do that again with slideshow. And I'm also going to go ahead and hide the map view. So these are the options that I use probably most often. Uh, most of the time I'm just going to be using library and develop, but every once in a while I'll jump over to book or maybe I'll jump over to print to create a collage. So that's one way that you can customize the view at the very top there just to kind of tidy up that space. Now let's look over on the left inside of the library module. So right now I have four options here. If I right click over any of those options, I get a really similar list to what I had at the top. So for example, maybe I don't use the publishing services, so I can uncheck that and now that hides from that left side. If I go over to the right, I can hide anything I want here or I can leave them all visible. Now let's jump over to the develop module. We'll start out over on the left. Again, if I right click over any of these options, I have a very similar list that I can choose from to hide or reveal certain panels there on the left, but on the right is where it gets a little bit more fun. If I right click over any of the panels and select the customize develop panel option, now I have a different kind of list that pops up. So first what you can do is you can actually uncheck the panels if you want them hidden. So maybe you don't use, let's say, lens correction or detail. Let's say you just don't use those, so might as well just hide them if there's something that you don't use. But I'm not gonna click save just yet because another thing you can do is actually reorder the panels over on the right. One thing I do to my photos very often is add a vignette. So it might be handy to have the effects panel up closer to the top. So I'm gonna go to the left there, click, and then drag that effects panel just below the basics panel. So I'll go ahead and stick with this. I've hidden those two panels and I relocated the effects panel. Now we'll go ahead and click save. Whenever you make changes like this, you do need to relaunch Lightroom. So I'll click relaunch and then we'll jump back into it and I'll show you what those changes did. Okay, we're back and Lightroom has kind of rebooted and now it's open. And if you look over on the right, now I have the basic panel at the top, but just below it is the effects panel. The effects panel is usually somewhere down here, and I also have those other two panels hidden. So this can be a handy way to really kind of tidy up your Lightroom Classic workspace if there are panels you don't use, or maybe just some that you want to rearrange because you have a different order that you like to proceed with when editing your photos. And if you want to at any time, you can right click over either the top area and bring back some of those options there so they're basically not gone forever, they're just hidden. Over on the left, same thing. If you have any of those panels that are unchecked, you can bring them back. And then over on the right in the develop panel, if you go back to customize develop panel, you can check those boxes again. And then you can also click that default order if you wanna bring everything back to kind of its standard normal view. And then again, if you click save once again, it's going to make you relaunch Lightroom just to kind of reorganize those panels over on the right. 